right guys, today I'm going to show you how you can get Copilot up and running on Tiny11. Uh, you have to be running 23H2 in Tiny11. I have a link to the ISO in the description of this video. So go ahead and download that and install it if you have not done so already. You can install that on a VM or a piece of hardware, totally up to you. Steps will be exactly the same. All right, so to validate your own 23H2, crack open a run dialog and then just type in WinBurr. And you see Windows 11, 23H2. Again, this is Tiny11, and you can see that by uh, just how deep bloated and lean and mean this thing is. So let's check here. We'll go to All Apps. We see that we do not have Copilot. We do not have Microsoft Edge. We barely have anything, just the essentials, which is nice. All right, so what we need to do is we need to install Edge. We can try to do that from the command line. We may need to update our um, apps installer, but let's try it first. So you can use WinGit, which is like the uh, package manager for Windows, and then we'll do install edge. It'll think about it for a second. Yeah, it's saying that failed when searching source WinGit and an unexpected error has occurred. Data required by the source is missing. So I'm assuming we need to update um, our package installer, but let's just make sure we have internet connectivity first. We do, so that's not the issue. All right, so what we can do is we can go to the apps library. Uh, if I can remember how to get there, here's apps. Let's open that up, go to library down here. Oops, and then go to your uh, app installer. We'll open that. And we need to see if there's any updates here. Update. Okay, assuming that updated, let's try again. Okay, it looks a little better so far. All right, we'll accept this. And now we are rolling with the Edge installation. Let's take a minute. Alright guys, that is installed, so now we just need to run through, uh, I'm going to say no to that, don't start with any of your data, and continue without the data, I'm not going to opt into anything here either, confirm and start browsing, so now we have Edge installed, which is the first requisite that we needed to have there, and now we need to reboot, so let us reboot. in and now you see that you have copilot right here guys so now you have tiny 11 23 h2 and you have copilot embedded into your taskbar only thing we had to do was install edge and to do that we had to update our app installer or our win git package manager uh, very straightforward process i hope this helps some folks out i've seen some some comments um, about not having Copilot on Tiny11. It's an easy fix. So now you have the power of GPT right at your fingertips here. Copilot's using GPT-4 in the background. And you can tell it to create images, whatever you want. So let's just ask it, let's say write uh, a paragraph about Windows Tiny11.
So pretty cool. It did that with no problem. Um, we can have it continue if we want. And we can also use the microphone here, guys, which is a really neat feature. We can tell it to, you know, draw a picture or something like that. You can talk to it. Draw a picture of a dinosaur eating a car. I didn't catch that last part, but that's fine. I do have a little background noise here, obviously, so. Okay, so we can't create images without signing in, so that's fine. I'm not going to do that here. It's up to you guys if you want to sign in. Um, but yeah, now you have Copilot right at your fingertips. Um, let's see if we also have Co-Creator within Paint now. Uh, I don't see Co-Creator embedded. So that may require a separate update. But nonetheless, you do have uh, Copilot here. Let's see if there's anything in Photos. I don't think it was in Photos anyway, though. I think that was just the um, remove background features and stuff like that that came in Windows 11. All right, guys. So this was a quick demonstration for you on how to get Tiny 11 23H2 uh, up and going with Copilot so you can use AI in your Tiny 11 environment. Uh, let me know what you guys are using Tiny 11 for. Are you new to it? Is this your daily driver now that you've seen it? And it's, you know... Being that it's lean, mean, stripped down, de-bloated, do you prefer the out-of-the-box, bloated up, um, kind of comes with everything Windows 11? Let me know. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know if you have any issues getting Copilot on your Tiny 11 instance, and I'll be glad to try to help you. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe. We're working on 10,000 this year. I can only do it with your help, so please subscribe. All right, guys, share this video with your friends and drop me a comment. Like I said, I, I want to hear what you guys are using Tiny11 for. Have a great day. Until the next one, everybody take care.